everyone! I have a manga and anime figure haul for for May. Um, I have a box from Country Roll and a bunch of figures that I've ordered oh, like over the last month or so. And I've just been kind of slowly waiting for them to come in, so I figured that I would just maybe open them with my manga. So I ordered this box from Crunchy Roll. It feels like ages ago. I'm resorting to pen opening because I didn't really have anything better nearby. Um, at the top is Rent a Girlfriend, volume 12. This is a very cute cover. And here's the back. I think I've read volume 11. I think this is my next one. Um, it's still cute. I, I honestly still enjoy reading it even after 12 volume or 11 volumes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I still enjoy it, so... <laughs> Here is volume 11. Um, next is To Your Eternity, volume 8. I've read volume 7. It's interesting to be at the new arc with this guy. What's his name? I can't remember. Prince Bond. I just met him at the end of the last volume. I love To Your Eternity. You never know where it's going. <laughs> like, it's so cool. You know, it, the arcs are so different and go to such different locations with different characters. It's so good. It's probably one of my favorite things that I've read, at least so far. Uh, next is Children of the Whales, volume seven. This cover is cute. I'm still into Children of the Whales. I like it. All of the characters are very pretty. <laughs> it's definitely a shoujo, but um, in a really like well-told, wonderful way. Like it, it's. Look at it. It's a very good story, honestly. So, I really liked the last volume, and I'm excited to keep going. Um, Rooster Fighter, Volume 5. I read Volume 4 last week. I still think that this series is kind of ridiculous, and he's like an overpowered rooster, basically, and he's like One Punch Man, but rooster form. I like it a lot, though. It's a pretty quick read, and the, the roosters and chickens are very, very, they're just endearing, like, it's, this is a weird series, but I like it. Um, I have E. McCoy, Volume 5. This cover looks familiar. Do I have this one already? <laughs> I don't think so. I think they just kind of look similar. Um, I don't think I've read Volume 4 yet, so I think it's coming up pretty soon. It might too be read, but I like this series. It's very cute. Um, Blood on the Tracks, Volume 5. Same thing here. I don't think I've read Volume 4 yet, but I'm pretty close. I like the lanterns at the top. This series freaks me out. <laughs> it's like, there's a lot of like, really, like, family drama. <laughs> like, their whole relationship is traumatic, so. It's really good though. I know I'm only, I've only read three volumes, but it just keeps getting more messed up as you go, and it's good. Next is Kaguya-sama Love is War, volume six. I just read volume five not too long ago, and I thought it was so cute. Kaguya like wanted to go see the fireworks with her friends, but she wasn't able to. I really did not think I was gonna care for this series at all, and now <laughs> I really enjoy reading it. So I guess that proves sometimes it's good to keep going when you're not sure. Um, it took me a while to warm up to that one. Okay, there's three more. Um, we have Kimono Jihen, volume four. I just read volume three over the weekend. 
Oh, I'm thinking that's really good. There is like these really creepy mosquito um, creatures. They were really creepy, but it was really good. Like, I don't feel like I completely understand this series, like where it's going, but I'm, I'm here for it. I like it. So here's the next one that I need to read. Um, Love of Kill, volume six. I have read volume five. It seems to be in a very like dramatic important place so I don't want to say too much but uh, I shouldn't be looking but yeah I love the the section at the back after shooting the cover art it's always so funny to go and read that at the end um, yeah it's, it's a quick read but it's it's good and then my last one is Oshinoko volume 5 I haven't read volume 4 yet it's coming up, it's like, I think it's my next manga to read, or like, it's up there. So, I got this one. The cover is so pretty. I love it. I think I got a I Hoshino figure, so let's see. Um, I'm going to start going through the figure stuff that I have. So... Some of this, stuff, a lot of this stuff is just sort of random things that I've got. So the first two I think came from Tinu. They were really cheap. And then my other ones are official figures. So we shall do this. Uh, first up, I don't know if there's plastic that needs to come off of this. I'm so bad. Oh, I think there is. I really love the like acrylic figures on Timu. So if you haven't looked at like Timu or AliExpress like their acrylic figures, I've looked at acrylic figures on like official websites and they are not nearly as cute as the ones that you can find there. So I honestly highly recommend um, the cheap acrylic figures. They're usually less than $5. And I've gotten some really cute ones for not very expensive. So here's the one that I got. I got Fern from, from Free Run. I love her. She is so stinking cute. I want to put her next to my little Free Run. She's way up there. But I think that Fern actually might be quite a bit bigger than her. But that's okay. They're going to look adorable together. I love her. So that's my first acrylic figure. I think that might be my only acrylic figure. I think everything else is like regular figures. Okay. You guys have seen my other figure, but I needed to get Kaguya to go along. Oh, it just cracked on the bottom. No joke. <laughs> um, well, that's TV for you. But she's pretty darn cute. I think she was like five or six dollars and she's gonna look really really cute and I I think she looks pretty nice. She's kind of gigantic, so I like her. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys can see but it like cracked on the bottom as I was put it, putting her foot in but I think that you wouldn't really notice. She's not really dirty or anything so yeah. like a bag of anime related things. Oh goodness. There's an ace figure and he's like all in pieces. Okay. Why don't we start with the enamel pens? Enamel pens to add to my enamel pen collection. And the first one is the Midnight Channel from Persona 4. I love perso all the personas, so I wanted this one to go in my enamel pen collection. And then my second enamel pen is Komi from Komi Can't Communicate, at, and she has little cat ears. She's so cute. Yeah, so 
those are my two enamel pins. All right. I want to say that this is probably Zenitsu. Yeah, it's Zenitsu. So, oh. He came with a free acrylic keychain, like in the same package. I did not order this. That's interesting. That's cute. Kind of cool that it just came in there with already a pretty cheap figure. I definitely need to peel off these. So this is another one of those Steven Slayers eating rice ball figures. I have a lot of them at this point and it just didn't feel right without Zenitsu so let's take a look at him. He looks, he looks pretty darn cute. Um, my rice ball eating figures have come from a variety of different places and Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell like which ones are which. So this Tanjiro came from Amazon and I paid about $15 for him. And I've kind of like compared, used him to compare the other ones. So here's Zenitsu, I paid $6 for him. For, yeah, he was $6 and I got him on AliExpress. So not too noticeable. I mean, Zenitsu somehow seems bigger because his legs are down, but um, let me put him next to Nezuko and since she has her legs down too. Yeah, just like a little bit larger of a head maybe. But I think he's gonna look very cute. So he's gonna join my like sitting figures. <laughs> if it wasn't right without him. I have Inosuke and Kanroji and Nezuko and yeah, Don Drew. Okay, let's go on. This was an official figure. He is not in a box though. And he has, it looks like interchangeable heads and arms. So this looks kind of scary. So let's open him. are nice actually he's really heavy I don't want to hold him super awkwardly so he was an official figure I paid like between 20 oh I just made his head fall off I paid between 20 and 30 dollars for him although I don't know what the heck I just did with his head to with his head he's super cute he's gigantic though and super heavy so it looks like you can completely change his face it comes with oh I think I held him up without a hand so let me put that on there okay got his hand on that looks a lot better okay so he has another arm and another head. don't know what's different about this arm Let's see the face. Okay, so you can just choose to have a face without the hat. So let's look at his face without the hat. I feel really messed up like pulling his head around. I feel like that makes more sense. Oh, taking off the, oh, his other arm must be so that you can take off his hat. I think I'm going to keep him like this since he's holding his hat and I don't want to have to change his arm, so. I love Ace, but honestly now that I look at him, he probably shouldn't have the flame in his hand because he took his, I took his hat off, so I gotta make this make sense. Maybe he should, I don't know, but he's very cute. He's heavy. I like him. Let's go on. This one just came in like styrofoam. 
and it seems to be floating in styrofoam. Okay, so she did come in a box. I hope she know. She's so cute. She's from Oshinoko, I'm sure you guys know. Um, this figure, I think, also between $20 and $30, so. Let's see how she is. I don't want to ruin the box, really. But, not this time. Okay, looks like we have her and a stand. The box is cute. Alright, so here's the stand. It says, try, oh, try it figure. <laughs> and it says, I. Oh. Finger is stuck in bubble wrap. Very cute. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. Her quality is really nice. Very cute. Oh, I like it. <laughs> She's like similar size to the Kaguya one. All right, I should have one more. And it looks to be in like this same exact styrofoam situation which maybe is good because the box came it was the box came and it wasn't very damaged oh I think I almost just knocked down everything <laughs> it is packaged the same way it's like styrofoam block. Oh, she's in a box. All right. Uh, my second figure that was like another really nice figure is from my dress up darling and oh the box is so cute I really liked how cute this figure was and yeah I just I feel like this was the one that I needed so let's see this figure same price as Ace and um I uh like between 20 and 30 dollars oh it looks cute oh it's pretty heavy so we have like mattressy pillowy base it looks really nice though chain that is dangling. I don't know what to do with it. Mm. Maybe it just dangles. I'm trying to like look for a book print. So 
I don't, she doesn't really sit on it. Like she just kind of rests, but she's so pretty. This seems more expensive than the like 20 or $30 that I paid. She's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Um, I'll try to do close-ups so you guys can see them as we go. If you got any cool figures lately or read anything awesome, uh, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.